Oprah was on somebody's something. I, c- I couldn't find the original clip, but uh, this is what... 2 a.m. dream dinner companion. Dead or alive. Oh, my gosh. I would like Jesus to come to dinner and explain. Explain. Is this what you wanted? Is this really what you wanted? Did you want the churches and people and the... Did you, did you want all that? Or were you looking for people to have a different level of consciousness? Did you want the Christ consciousness? Because I think a lot of people got it wrong, Jesus. Christ mm. consciousness. Okay, so... um I think I think we have to break this down because it's seeping into a lot of this stuff. Um, another guy who we've talked about on the show before, Eckhart Tolle, is a big on this Christ conscious stuff. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, and Oprah is uh, ground zero for where a lot of this started. <laughs> right. She's had so many of these Christ conscious people on her show, even in the past. A lot of her book clubs were about Christ conscious mm-hmm. authors. This is new age Christianity yeah. is, is starting to pop off. So does everybody know what Christ consciousness is? Mm-hmm. Are y'all all familiar mm-hmm. with what it is? Yeah, I have no yeah. idea. So essentially what they believe is that Jesus Christ was not the Christ. He was a Christ. Mm-hmm. That anybody has the power to ascend to Christ consciousness. And what they believe is that they believe in God, but they believe that we were all a part of God and the big bang is when it was all separated and your experience on this earth and your experience on this earth, when you die, will get reunited with God consciousness, the, you know, the Supreme being. So essentially that we're all God. That's why you keep hearing people say like Terrence Howard, you know, we're all God or this is Mm -hmm. God and this and that it's because they believe that we're all pieces of God that will reform with God when, when we're done. That sounds like Horace. What sounds like what? That sounds like Egyptian, like the the um, Egyptian uh, god horse. Yeah, where he got broken apart and came back together. Uh, but they they believe this is predates all this. They believe that all of us are basically God ourselves, and we can ascend to a Christ consciousness. Meaning you you're aware of your godness on this earth. They think that Jesus did it the best, so they use him as like an example name, of. Yeah. See, he did it, so you could do it. And they, and they they twist scriptures to basically say that um, you know everything that sounded like it was just for Jesus is really for all of us. Every, every everything in the Bible where you read Jesus was this or that, they think that's all talking about them. Mm-hmm. And it's it's sinister because it sounds so similar. So somebody could get up and say, uh, you know, praise Christ, you know, uh, even Jesus. You know, they may even say something about Jesus or God or whatever. It sounds exactly like one of us on on a stage would yeah. say right yeah. but what they're talking about is this idea of we are all god i've risen to a level of consciousness i'm trying to get you to rise to that level of consciousness it's the same lie that started at the very beginning when when saying offered hey the apple you can room. be like yeah. god yeah you will yeah. know good and evil yeah. like god and it's yeah. that same temptation that we've always had of you can be God. You could be God. You could be in. Look who it is, Oprah. And so it's like, <laughs> you could be God. You know what I'm saying? Like, so she's been pushing this for years. Yeah. But it sounds like Christianity. A lot of people yeah. like watch her channel and the they say the angels, yeah. this is and that's. It's all from this theology. Yeah. There's a mm. ton of people who uh, that she's had on her show that ascribe to this. Um, uh, let me see if I can find one. Uh, Richard uh, Richard Rohr is another guy, the Universal Christ. He's he's one of the first guys that kind of came up with this idea of rising to Christ consciousness. Neil Donald Walsh, I already said Eckhart Tolle. There's a, there's a bunch of them, mm-hmm. and, she, and if you look back, they taking pictures with Oprah. Like she believes this, and it's seeping into a lot of the celebrities that we think are Christians. If you listen to them long enough, they'll say something about Christ consciousness. I think when you take scriptures like. They're twisted. You know how they say rat poison is 99% food but 1% poison. That just little bit of poison is enough to kill you. Mm-hmm. They'll take a scripture like when Jesus said, uh, even greater things than this people will be able to right, do. Right. They'll take yeah. scriptures like that or they'll say, you know, we're made in God's image. And they'll use yeah. these things to try to just cement that idea of you have the ability, like you were saying, to become a Christ, to do the God things with God body, with this, with this and that. And it was like if he walked the earth and was able to do this, and he said, we can do greater things. Why are we not able to do it? And then they even go as far as sometimes, look at the celebrity I have. Look at the influence. Look at the money. Like, 
you can do this as well. And a lot of folks get caught up into this kind of stuff. That's why so many people are chasing after these things instead of seeking Christ for their self and seeking God for themselves to see what is your purpose, what is your identity, what is your calling, who are you made to be? But when you're idolizing these people and they're giving you subliminal messages, they're giving you this trickery pretty much, and you're thinking, like, oh, man, I can do this, I can do that. Now a lot of folks are falling astray and they don't even understand. And their favorite celebrity, like we were just talking about, they mention God, oh, we're safe. They mention, oh, they, they quote a couple of scriptures, oh, we're safe. And they're leading you to the road to destruction because you're following them. You're not following Christ for real. And, yeah. it, and it's it's real it's real yeah, slippery slope. I, I think the thing is, um, all of this is like Hinduism almost to a certain extent. Hinduism, New mm, Age, just somewhere, um, yeah. myth, um, myth, myth, I would say mythology, um, uh, mysticism, mysticism, mm-hmm. all that stuff. Um, and normally, people, how you going through Christ um, consciousness is like meditation. You know, what I mean, emptying yourself out and you know just let let the high you know what i mean yeah. which is basically you opening yourself up to a, a yeah. to a spirit world a spirit or a portal yeah, yeah. they so, believe they believe in and that's where all that vibration stuff comes yeah. from. they believe yeah. in certain yeah. sounds if you if you put one frequency in this ear and another frequency in that ear it, your brain can uh hear low frequencies like five hertz frequencies mm-hmm. that you wouldn't be able to hear naturally and that connects you into the divine it turns your mind from a lamp into a laser and focuses it so you could <laughs> Dang, son, you've been studying not, i'm, I'm tired i don't i don't yeah. bring this stuff up unless yeah, i know what i'm talking yeah, about yeah. yeah like they 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 believe this I'm, like these people believe this yeah. but they still put Christ's imagery on top of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jesus' imagery yeah. on top of it. It's scary. I got cussed out on Facebook yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I put yeah. like all these horoscopes and moon yeah. and sun and all these um, magic God. eyes yeah. and all this. Crystals, come to be, you don't know yourself. Yeah. You don't know how to define yourself. You don't know how to become one with yourself and with the Creator and all this. I said, man, this stuff ain't in the Bible. Yeah. I said, we following yeah. Jesus, right? Name one time Jesus said, let me rely on this stone for insight. Burn the sage. Burn right, the right, sage. Right, right. You ever see Jesus yeah. walking around with a magic eye? Like, oh, man. All the secrets of the world magic are inside of this right here. Jesus walking around with the magic eye. But yeah. that's why people like Billy Carson are so dangerous because he's basically saying Jesus did do that. Yeah. He's trying to get people to believe that the time in the yeah. Bible where you from like age 12 to yeah. when, when he be, uh, you know yeah. comes into ministry that he went and studied all these other. Yeah. It's like, man, it's so dangerous. It's all, you, you notice how all these different people, it seems like it's all working together to get mm-hmm. you to believe yep. the same thing yeah. Yeah. your god yeah. that's the that's the original yeah. lie the spirit of your the god no yeah. you are yeah. not god you will never be god <laughs> you have no chance yeah. of being god like people Satan. have tried and they yep. failed yeah. over and over and over <laughs> yeah. again you will never succeed to be god and he will destroy you like that's that's yeah. the original that's what yeah. that's why we're here this whole yeah. thing is about that <laughs> right you still fall for the yeah. same nonsense i don't get the ultra Falling wealthy the banana the i don't fight. get the ultra wealthy the ultra wealthy seem like they get to this point where they realize like they have achieved all these things yeah. and it must be me it must be me yeah. you know what i mean like you look up and you see oprah is what uh one of the wealthiest in in the world right billionaire mm-hmm. And you're thinking to yourself, like, hmm, I got this, I got that, I got all these things around me. I must have, at some point, but, tapped into something that wasn't me. But know? I think that's why manifestation is so huge, too. And it's part of this because it's like, I can manifest stuff, the secret, I can visualize mm-hmm. stuff, I can do all these yeah. things. Yeah. And even if I'm walking in it, even if I'm walking in those things and they come true, it's like, yeah, I did mm-hmm. this. God well, didn't do well, it. that's I part didn't. of that's part of the same belief. Yeah. They believe that if you can tap into this higher consciousness, you have the power to reshape reality, right? Because they believe, since they believe they're God, they believe they're the ones that created the yeah. reality yeah. that you see. So they feel like if you could tap into it, then you can change reality, get yourself that job, or get yourself that success, or that yeah. woman, or whatever. That's what they believe. That's so. If you hear all this language, is is. It's like a light bulb should go off. Like, oh, that's what they're and, talking about. And the about. dangerous part for Christians is they have a scripture that can back up visualization, yeah. manifestation. Yeah. They got scriptures that can tell you that you know Christ spoke this into existence. You can speak into it. Yeah. So it's all the stuff that if you are, um, um, I've heard people say this before too. It's like that's why the prosperity gospel is so dangerous because a lot of people are doing that. They're using new age philosophies in the prosperity yeah. gospel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Man, folk can't even fry a piece of chicken talking about they God. How you gonna, <laughs> how you gonna cre- create a human? You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. right. You can't yeah. even, uh, so just keep this in mind as we go because this, to me, informs kind of what you're starting to see in culture where yeah. it's starting to get a little confusing on who's a Christian and who's not. 
um, like you said, even some pastors, I think, believe this. Yeah. They don't believe Jesus is yeah. their Lord and Savior. They believe yeah. he is a goal. And, and, <laughs> well, I'll say this yeah. real quick. Yeah. I'll say this. And they tap into, and we, since we're talking New Age, they tap, they tap into the false Holy Spirit, which is Kondalini. I don't know if you heard about that, where it's like give you the power to – to to mm-hmm. almost like prophecy, but yeah. it's 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 a it's a ancient deity that you like subscribe yeah. to, and it's a false Holy Spirit. So it gives you people's they can come and say yo, give you a prophecy, and it's they know numbers and all this other stuff because they got Kundalini. Mm-hmm. Yes, what are you gonna say? Yeah, now nah, that stage is a, is dangerous. I had uh when I first started rapping, I had uh my old pastor slash manager back then. He told me that. He was like, man, you're going to get on that stage and they're going to be saying your name. And after a few times, you're going to start thinking it's you that's doing it. You ain't doing nothing. He just checked me and I'm like, man, and and this was 20 years ago and I still keep that in my mind to this yeah. day. It don't matter. Like they, They'll say your name so, so many times that you'll start to think I'm the one. They up there, man, I did this. I did mm-hmm. this. I went in the studio. I created this. Right? I did this. I created this. I created, you know, um, and you got to, how, how, Easy it is for for someone who has nothing to to get into that uh, point of view than somebody who got millions and billions yeah, of dollars yeah. to be like I'm the one I'm doing this I manifested this I and so it's like it's a slippery slope mm-hmm. and and yeah. so you know and people are looking for something to to be a part of and believe but they're also looking for like something like a yeah, thing or yeah. or you know uh, uh, some type of uh, you know, like if I could manifest it or say it, like we're looking for something, something to be a part of, but we're also looking for the blessing, right? Yeah. So it's like that's why the prosperity gospel of these churches is so dangerous. Because it's like if I'm telling you, if you give me ten dollars and I give you a hundred bag, that's a good investment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep sewing into that. I'm trying to get this. I remember I'm not I won't say no names. It was. Someone I know that was following a pastor that had that was a famous person that became a, became a pastor, and I heard a few of the members going, "Hey man, we just got to stick around till we get that million. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Like what?" And it was like that's the thing. He was saying, "Hey man, y'all gonna be millionaires with me, and God has a million for you and a million for you." And it's like it's like so you you're. You knew you you know you're relying on God, and then it's like, hold on, now I can get a million. There's a lot of things I could do with a million, Lord. So maybe yeah. this is what, yeah. and it's yeah, and man. it's a slippery slope. You know, that's why you had to have that foundation. I teach my kids that all the time. Like, you gotta have that foundation because if not, man, it get dangerous. Just so, just in case you weren't sure, Oprah is not a Christian. No, <laughs> she's just yeah, straight. Not at all. I'm not. I'm not figuring that out. She's saying it to you loud. Nobody that is truly a believer in Jesus would entertain so much of this and say so much of this out of their face. Right. Yeah. There's no way. She's spiritual. But so, she already so, said Jesus wasn't the way. Jesus yeah. wasn't the way. She so said there's, that a while, there's, right? there's way more than enough evidence for you not mm-hmm. just... I, I'm just trying to make sure you understand because there's so many people who love these people. Yeah. yeah, they love they love Kendrick, they love Will Smith, they love all. But just, you got to listen to what they they're saying. I think I think you know what it is. I think it's our 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 history with the church, black people with history with the church, yeah. that people automatically think people are Christians. I've heard somebody say that before. It's like you know I'm a Christian because my grandmama went to church. Like. I think that's a lot of our they DNA. Think they're, they think they're yeah, we're, born Christian. We're born Christian. Yeah. I think so, people gravitate to them people too because once you said with our history, we've yeah. been down for so long. Yeah. Yeah. So anytime yeah. you see somebody in the position of power where they seem to have influence, yeah. they have control. And this is how you can get it. This is how you yeah. get it. They're going to gravitate toward that because they're looking like their life is better than mine. So obviously they know something. That's this doesn't this doesn't completely absolve the people that she's talking about though because she's basically like, is this what he envisioned? Is this what he imagined? These huge buildings and this yeah. huge... She's not completely wrong about that. We yeah. gotta we gotta rethink some of the things that we're doing in in the name of you know seeker sensitivity and reaching people. We're starting mm-hmm. to amass wealth and amass things. Especially in church, yeah. As like proof of God doing something. Jamal. Mm-hmm. Um <laughs> so it, it's it's <laughs> it's we we you know me on blood raw. There's app, there's there's <laughs> still some value. Book, no time. <laughs> there's still some value in what she's saying. It's just that she's not the right messenger for it. But we do have to be careful that we're 
we have to go back to the beginning and make sure that everything we're doing is still what Jesus would have wanted yeah. us to do. Yeah. That's what I thought when she did years of back. I know because they actually like she's quoted like in Webster as this being her phrase. But when she did that aha moment that you remember, do you remember hearing that? Mm-hmm. So she explained on her show or whatever it is that she does, her TV, yeah. the network podcast or whatever about a aha moment. And someone asked her what that meant. And she said, it's when like, basically when you get a revelation Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're like, ah, like, aha. Uh-huh. And it was like, man, you know, that was the, to me, that was like the beginning of what we're seeing now. It's mm-hmm. like, aha, uh-huh, like, like you have okay. some sort of some like, like you're in the spirit. You yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you tap into the spiritual yeah. realm, and and it's like a deja vu type of thing, and yeah. you realize yeah. like, ah, I am the greatest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it was like yeah. to me, it was like when I heard it, I was like, and I heard, and and what what really made me think about it is I heard I heard someone at church. It wasn't a pastor; it was just someone speaking. Say we need we need this aha moment, Lord, and I was like, Nah, hold on, that didn't, it just didn't sit well with me because yeah. yeah. I remember who I heard that introduced yeah. from. Right, right, right. She's right. in Webster. Webster quotes her. The dictionary quotes her as the creator of that. I did not know of that, that term aha moment. So when I heard someone in the church say it, I was like, Oh, no, nah, that ain't right. Yeah, because right. it's like instead of God speaking to you, yeah. you're going, I, 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 uh, or you know. God bringing it back to you a moment. Mm-hmm. It's like no, I, I, I. This is my aha moment. I did this. I, yeah, I yeah. controlled yeah. this uh, thing or whatever it is. And 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 so, man, she mm-hmm. is. 